Hello, everyone, and welcome to Kennesaw, Georgia, for yet another edition of Q's Countdown. He's Michael Tricarico, and I'm Chris Thompson, and we're going to preview the SU Duke Championship game coming up on Sunday. Right behind us right now, we've got the ACC Brown Classic, where Virginia and Brown are playing right now. But let's focus on Syracuse for a little bit. What was your big takeaway from their win yesterday? Well, I think it has to be the Syracuse defense. I mean, the Orange only allows seven goals to one of the top offenses in the country in North Carolina. Syracuse, the defense, middle of the year, it looked like they weren't even going to be able to get a stop at all. But the defense has really come along. Putting Evan Malloy in goal has, has been magical for the Syracuse defense. He communicates really well, and he's making a lot of really good saves. He's seeing the ball extremely well in net, making 14 saves against North Carolina. You can't ask for much more out of your goalkeeper and the Syracuse defense really as an entire unit has come along and is playing its best lacrosse at the right time. Yeah, Michael, you touched on it. It seemed like that change in goalkeeper when they switched from Warren Hill to Evan Malloy, it seemed like that was the catalyst for this entire season. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, not only is Evan Malloy making those saves and, and communicating well, but he's providing that spark that Coach John Desco was looking for. Brandon Mullins, who's a senior on this team, really spoke to that. When, when Evan Malloy came in, He's provided that spark and that extra piece that the Syracuse defense has needed to really come along and progress and, and get stops defensively. Well, on Friday, it looked like Syracuse needed that spark at halftime, and they got it. Let's go to the highlights to see how it all turned out. And a beautiful facility here at Fifth Third Bank Stadium as Syracuse and the Tar Heels take the field. We'll begin in the first quarter, and Evan Malloy makes a couple good saves here, Tricky. Yeah, Evan Malloy was the star of this game. 14 saves at career high. He might, something about the Tar Heels making a lot of saves against North Carolina. Well, maybe this man was actually the star. Nate Solomon, the Georgian native, gets the and one there. He puts Syracuse up 3-0 with 50 seconds left in the first quarter. And then the extra man opportunity. Look at that passing. Eventually gets to Donahue. And Syracuse now riding away with this one. 4-1 SU. And now Tim Barber gets it by the goalie there. 6-1. And it looked like everything was coming up orange until things got a little blue. Tar Heel blue, that is. This Brian Cannon gets it through Evan Malloy's legs there. And then Steve Pontrello goes around the crease, gets it in. 6-4 SU. It was once a five-goal lead. Now cut to two. Heading into halftime, and things looked pretty good for the Tar Heels as the second half began, but in the third quarter, things took a different turn. Man, Evan Malloy made a couple of big saves. The defense really stepped up. For a while, neither offense was able to get going because the defenses were playing so well, but finally the Syracuse offense was able to break through. Brandon Mullins, the star of the game. Five ground balls, four cause turnovers. Great job by the senior. But eventually the offense would get going again as Derek DeJou gets the skipper to fall off the assist from Salcedo. And then finally, Nate Solomon, he gets that second goal and SU would go on to win 10-7. It would be a 9-4 game after that goal. But Solomon, DeJou, and Jordan Evans all had two goals in the win. And here's what Coach John Desco had to say after this one. We wanted defense to be our strength early in the year with the guys that we have coming back. And then, uh, you know, I think that we've been giving up a couple more goals than we wanted to, especially in our overtime losses. And uh, so it's good to see these guys playing their, their best at the right time of year. And uh, It's great that our defense is playing so well. You know, they always rise to the occasion in those big games um, that I've been playing in. And, I mean, they're giving me shots that I can save. And, uh, you know, I mean, we're, we're just playing great as a unit. I think Evan helps quite a bit. You know, when he gets those saves, it, it gives the defense confidence. And I think his communication also helps, you know, He's telling guys to pick up loose players that might be uh, uh, out there on the field, and he's talking to guys about their slides. So to have that communication uh, really helps with the team defense. It felt, uh, it felt really good to get out there again. Uh, I got a lot of friends and family here. Uh, a lot of people texted me saying that they were here, so that felt really good. Uh, I'm just used to the air, so I like the Georgia air. It was great to see this young guy get out there in his hometown and, and play well uh, this evening. It felt like high school again, kind of. Um, I mean, it was a lot of fun. I know it's a big stage, but you just got to play confident. So now with North Carolina out of the way, Syracuse turns its sights to the Blue Devils. And, Michael, they took a pretty bad loss earlier this year. It was their second overtime loss of the season at that time. But Deemer Class and Miles Jones, they really dominated against Syracuse in that one. Uh, yeah, Deemer Class, there's something about Syracuse that this mid midfielder loves. Seven goals and two assists against the Orange uh, earlier in the year. The Syracuse defense, again, looked like, I mean, just Swiss cheese. So many holes in that Syracuse defense with Warren Hill in goal. And it wasn't just Warren Hill's fault. He struggled in net, but the Syracuse defense as a unit, it, it was rough. 
But now the defense has come along. Evan Malloy is playing his best lacrosse. We talked about the rest of the defense as a unit playing their best lacrosse. I don't expect Deemer Class to get seven goals. He'll probably get his. He'll get two or three, but he won't get seven. I think the Syracuse defense will really concentrate on him. But what the Orange doesn't want to do is open other things up for a player like a Miles Jones or Justin Gutterding in the attack. Well, hopefully the Orange will have more success against that strong attack group from the Blue Devils. Michael, what is your X Factor for Sunday's game? Well, my X Factor has got to be Ben Williams because we know how deadly that Duke offense is. you got to keep it out of their offensive end. You do that first off at the faceoff X. Ben Williams wins almost 64% of his faceoffs, but so does Duke's faceoff man, Kyle Rowe. He wins almost 64% as well. They're both in the top eight in the nation in faceoff win percentage. If Ben Williams can win more faceoffs than Kyle Rowe, Syracuse has a really good chance of winning this because Syracuse, when they get possessions, they're pretty strong. You don't want to have to rely on the SU defense to continue to play as well as it has been, and you don't want to have to rely on Evan Malloy. For as good as he's played, Duke is a whole different story. You don't want to have to have Evan Malloy making double-digit saves. And after that Duke game earlier this season, Desco said they had to find a way to win when they aren't winning those face-offs. Yeah. So, you know, Ben Williams really is the X factor. So, obviously, we've done a lot of previewing for this one. What is your final prediction? What's the final score? Syracuse is playing its best lacrosse at the right time. I think the Orange will take home its second straight ACC championship, 13-11. to 11. I have over Duke. I think Ben Williams will be just good enough at the faceoff X. Even the ones he doesn't win, I think the Syracuse defense is playing spectacular with Evan Malloy in goal. And then those saves and the defensive stops will turn into goals on the opposite end for the Syracuse offense. Look for a big game from Dylan Donahue. This is his last ACC tournament. He wants to lead the Syracuse team into a deep run in May. So I think Dylan Donahue can have a big game as well. 13-11, to 11, I think the Orange can beat the, the Blue Devils. Well, hopefully the Orange defense is playing better than Virginia's. It is not going well for the Cavaliers <laughs> behind us right now. One of the top offenses, Brown, uh, 17 goals per game. A possible first-round matchup between Brown and Syracuse. Maybe something to pay attention to. You do not want to face Dylan Malloy, a possible Torton winner. Oh, he's the favorite for now. Yep. Well, the favorite for now for you is Syracuse <laughs> for tomorrow, but we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube for more coverage from the ACC tournament. Signing off from Kennesaw, Georgia, he's Michael Tricarico, and I'm Chris Thompson.